right, hello everybody! Travis Chandler here, back with a new adventure. We're gonna go through Albion here in Fable Anniversary Edition. We're gonna make a hero here. Here we go, we're gonna start a new. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, but one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrowfields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you've forgotten to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. All right, here we go. Now we gotta talk to people. I've lost Rosie. I left her, and I can't remember where. Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her. Please help. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. Young tearaway, off to play with your friends? Come oh, yeah, here, my little pumpkin. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. Okay, I'm gonna do the good deeds. There are four good deeds to do here, and there's three bad deeds. You can choose either the good path or the evil path. I'm gonna go the good path, because it's been a long time since I've done it, so... Where's that, where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into Balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Okay, there's one good deed. Wait till I get my hands on that pig! Here's another good deed. Oh, oh thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? I've got to, you know, Answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick! While he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Are you just gonna stand there like a lemon? But be 
feeling good is so boring. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? Come on, there's still time before he gets back. Oh, you're no fun at all. Fine, have your stupid good deed then. He's scratching his ass. <laughs> Excellent, thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Here we go. That's good deed number two. Brought up here. Good deed number three. <laughs> Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. Okay. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Okay. Then we need to go talk to the little girl, which is down here. Huh. You could have smashed those barrels while he was away. Sissy. That's what I want to talk to. You found Rosie. Thank you so much. Come on, Rosie. Let's change your stuffing. Why would she need to change stuffing to a teddy bear? I, I don't know. Go. <laughs> oh. Kick a chicken. <laughs> Well done, lad. Here's your award for those good deeds. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? Okay. Now we go talk to the trader. <laughs> Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world, buying and selling wares, especially to fine folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? <laughs> okay. Many lovely things. The chicken. <laughs> Why is that so much fun, kicking chickens? Oh, there it is. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! Bandits? No! Oh! oh, he got it. What's really happening? They're here. You've got to hide.
got one. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. He was alone. Now the village is on fire! Yep, we run through a burning bridge. leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Pedophile! you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze. And I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. Can I I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. I just love how you get insulted by the guild master right there, in front of Maze, too. <laughs> You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now. But you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. Playing could mean more than one thing, man. 
<laughs> it's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! Let's go! Okay. This is the guild shop. When you're older, you can buy stuff here. You won't be disappointed here. A mace, a pair of gloves. Resurrection file. If you're evil, you get to steal. But since I'm not evil, I'm not going to steal. Okay. Oh, we want these, the cooking apples. They're free items. So we want to chill here for a minute and get all the apples. Why? So we can have them for later. One there. Didn't know there was one there. Okay. A powerful you finally prized yourself. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. A stick. A stick. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Okay. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance, while you deal with the problem. Okay. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Okay. Run into the woods, kill some beetles with our stick. Smash some beetles with a stick. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> Let's grab us a stick. And beetles. Big bad beetle boards. Big bad beetleborgs. <laughs> Who remembers that show? Big bad beetleborgs. <laughs>
Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. Come and see me when you're ready. I am ready. I am wanting to get some extra gold. You look tired after killing those beetles. I want to get some more gold, and there is 25 more over here that you can get. We're discussing whether I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Beat that. Right then, get to the demon door and back and talk to me in 50 seconds. This is a lot easier than you think. Oh, no, 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 no. You're in my way. Don't follow the path. Just cut through here. I don't know if I'll get this one or not. I'm hoping I will, but I don't know if I will or not because I got stuck in a couple spots. That's amazing. Got it. I did. I did it in the last second. Look at that. There we go. Twenty-five more gold right there. That's how you do that. Now we got to go talk to the guild master, so we can move on in the game. You look tired. Your training is about to begin. But you have many hard years of tasks and preparations beforehand. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind. But soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Maze had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river, but that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. Yeah, well, we're not gonna race. We're gonna raid some of these bookshelves because it's free items. more over here nothing all right well we'll head on down we'll talk to the old master late again you can put that old stick away We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Come on then, let's see what you've got, farm boy. Ah, oh, lucky shot. Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. 
The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. You can't stop me every time. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> Well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel, just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. Come on. How did that get through? <laughs> Got her ass. All wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance. Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Die. Are you ready for your... Let's continue our training with the bow. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make sure you stay within the circle. Okay. One. Two. Three. How do you do that? Well done. You hit all the targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point, the middle one is worth three, and the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points, but you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. Let's see what you can do. Come on, lad. Get your bow out. I keep forgetting it's Y. Back in the old days, it was X. There's one. That was way off. Got his ass that time. Got his ass dead center. His ass dead center again. Good shooting. Marvelous. 
Excellent shooting, my lad. Do that in your skill test and I'll be most impressed. Hey, I'm right. I impressed the guild master. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall. Okay. Well, while we're waiting for the guild master to take his old ass over there, we'll this melee combat against Whisper count. do this. Right, let's get Whisper and you in the ring. Same rules as before. I have a special prize for you, if you manage an A+. Is that the best you've got? Got her ass. You can stop now. That was very impressive. Whisper should be ashamed. A plus. That grade means I can award you a new weapon. Nice. We'll take that. You really showed Whisper. Damn right I did. Now the guildmaster has asked me to grade everyone's archery skills. And if you get an A+, you'll receive a special prize. You've got one minute, starting when you fire your first shot. Okay. Have my bow. That was way off. I should not have even tried that. Excellent power. Got his ass. Didn't have tried that. Didn't have tried that either. Ooh, that almost went straight through. Boom. I keep missing. Wow, I ain't never seen any better than that. You got an A plus. I still got the A plus. Master said, if anyone shot brilliant, I could award them this. Do not equip the crossbows. Me personally, I don't equip them because you have to reload them after every shot. So they're a lot slower than bows, long bows. There's just the will left to learn. It's time to learn about will powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. All right, let's see what you've got. Good. That's it. See how many you can hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You'll only waste valuable mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana, and once used, it takes time to replenish. Excellent use of magic. Well done. Nice. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I believe Whisper is about to go into the guild woods if you wish to join her. Oh, I'm gonna play.
I'll be in the map room when you're ready to continue. Okay. So while we're waiting for the apprentice to show up to get graded, we'll let our will, um, we'll let our mana recharge. <laughs> Any apprentices need will training? You've got 30 seconds once you first cast lightning to hit as many targets as you can. There's a special prize for A-plus students, you know. Okay, let's go into the center of the island. Bloody hell, A+. Plus. The Guildmaster said to award these items to anyone who excelled at the will test. Damn right. I still haven't seen anyone perform better than you. Okay, so now we'll head off to the Guild Woods. When we get there, we'll chill for a minute and we'll um, let the mana recharge again. Hello, Whisper. No, I went grocery shopping today and we always stop. I always stop for lunch on the way home, and I stopped off at um, Burger King. It wasn't quite time for lunch yet, so I had to chill for about ten minutes. But that's okay because I got everything uh, fresh. Had me a spicy chicken sandwich and fries and a sprite, and that's all I had. You know. The eagle nest is just at the top of the. Wait, did you hear that? It's coming from over there. Bandits. If only we could get across that stream. I know. Why don't you use your bow? Or some of that lightning the Guildmaster taught you? Okay. I'll heal you if you get hurt. For some reason, to lock on to a to an enemy. Lock on to an enemy. You have to um have your weapon out. There we go. We did it. Did you see the look on their faces? Wait till the Guildmaster hears about this. Okay, time to head back to the Guildmaster and move on in the game. That was some fancy shooting. There is another quest you can do here. If you talk to this apprentice over here, he'll want you to shoot a bunch of sparrows. Um, but if you do that, you get bad deeds for it. 
but since I'm gonna do the good path, I'm not gonna do it, so... The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. Okay. I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. Put some anger into it! Attack me! Very good. Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Ha! Well done. You're getting better at this. Attack me. Excellent. And finally, cast lightning at me. That's enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. Damn right. Okay. Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us, and look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring and strange winds are blowing. Your choices whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. All right. It's time for you to leave us then. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. 
And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light and I'll show you how to do this. Guy. We're going to get health level one so I can get more um, health. There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Okay. There we go, we graduated. Check the guild for more quests. So I'm going to call it here for this video. So I hope you all had fun. I will see you all in the next video.